Hi everyone, today we're going to be starting chapter 4, La Famille et la Maison. Please refer to your chapter 4 packet, your first vocabulary list, and make sure you fill in the definitions as we go through the PowerPoint. If you need to, you can always pause the recording and go back and listen again. Okay, here we go. Chapitre 4 La famille et la maison La famille et la maison. They're both feminine nouns. La famille is the family and la maison is the house. La famille Morel. This is the name of the family we're going to be looking at. In English, we would say the Morel family. But in French, we put the descriptor after the noun. So we say... La famille Morel. La femme. In French, la femme has two meanings. It means woman, but it also means wife. Le mari. And le mari is the husband. Make sure you write down wife and woman next to la femme and husband next to le mari. Les parents. As you can see, we have a cognate here. The word for parents is the same in French and English. Just be sure you don't Americanize the pronunciation. Listen carefully. Les parents. Le père. Le père is the word for father. La mère. And la mère is the word for mother. Le fils. Le fils is the son. La fille. And la fille is the girl or the daughter. Okay, so fille in French means girl, but it also means daughter. Notice how the double L in French makes a Y sound like our Y. La fille. Les enfants. Okay. Les enfants kind of looks like our word for infants. It means children. Are you writing everything down? If I'm going too fast, you can pause it and take your time. Les enfants is children. Le grand-père. Le grand-père is the grandfather. Le frère. Le frère is brother. La sœur. And la sœur is sister. Les petits-enfants. Les petits-enfants refers to the grandchildren. Les grands-parents. And les grands-parents, this is another cognate, the grandparents. Le petit-fils. Le petit-fils is how we say the grandson. La grand-mère. And la grand-mère is grandmother. La petite fille. And la petite fille is the granddaughter. Okay. Now we move on to pets. Le chien. Le chien is dog in French. Le chat. And le chat is cat. You're probably wondering why there's this circle with an X through it for the cat. That comes later because we're going to discuss how the Morel family doesn't have a cat. But you can just write down next to le chat, cat. Voici la famille Morel. Here is the Morel family. Monsieur et Madame Morel ont deux enfants, un fils et une fille. Okay, do you remember that M stands for Monsieur? And MME stands for Madame. Mr. and Mrs. Morel. Here's a new verb for us we're learning in this chapter. It's called avoir and it means to have. So this means Mr. and Mrs. Morel have two children, a son and a daughter. Les Morels ont un chien. The Morels have a dog. Now, some of you are going to notice that there's no S on the name Morel. In English, we make that word plural. We make the name of the family plural, but we don't do that in French. What tells me that it's plural is the les. You know that les is the plural form of the in French. The Morels have a dog. 
Leur chien est adorable. Okay, here's another new word. These are called possessive adjectives. This is how we show possession. Leur means there. T-H-E-I-R. Not location, but possession. Their dog is adorable. Adorable. La famille Morel n'a pas de chat. The Morel family doesn't have a cat. Okay, you recognize the ne pas. We know that that makes anything negative in French. This a here, the letter A, that's part of that new verb I talked about, the one to have. So you can see en here and a here. Those are different forms of the verb to have. We also have pas de. Remember pas de, pas de, pas de, pas de. So we're saying they don't have any cat. The Morel family doesn't have any cat. That's why we have the red circle here, crossing out the cat. Nothing against cats. Okay, that's where we're going to stop for tonight. We're going to learn about birthdays tomorrow. Please come to class tomorrow, ready to do activities with partners and in groups regarding the new vocabulary describing members of the family. All right. Once again, if you need to, play it over again. And just for fun, you can listen to the pronunciation and practice it. This way, when you come in tomorrow, you'll be really prepared. Be prepared also for a short five-question quiz for me to determine whether or not you watched this video. If you have not watched the video, you will have a pass to go to the library with Mrs. Eastwood, and you will have to do it there. But I hope that you've watched this and you'll be able to work with your friends tomorrow on some really great activities. Okay, mes amis, bonne soirée et bonne chance. Au revoir.